Elon has finally released Croc 4, but at such an odd time. But regardless, we finally now have Croc 4, which is a major leap forward in XEI's pursuit of AGI. Croc 4 is a state-of-the-art multimodal large language model that not only surpasses its previous iteration, but it is currently competing up against top-tier models like O3, Claude 4, and Gemini 2.5 across a wide range of benchmarks, from coding all the way to reasoning to math and science. This is where it is quite impressive in terms of its generation, and it's something that we're going to be taking a look at today. Unfortunately, this model is super expensive to access via Grok. You have two new subscription plans. You have Super Grok, which is 300 a year, and then you have Super Grok Heavy, which is 3,000 a year, and that gets you access to Grok for Heavy. But it's truly worth the hype. These benchmark scores for these two models are absolutely insane. The XCI team didn't just release one model, but they released two models, the Grok 4 and the Grok 4 Heavy. Grok 4 demonstrates 10 times better reasoning capabilities than the Grok 3. But here's what's truly unprecedented. The XCI team has stated within the live stream that they spent the same amount of compute on reinforcement learning as they did on pre-training, which is kind of unheard of. In this world of large language models, this is super unconventional, and most models actually spend the majority of resources on pre-training and far less on the fine-tuning stage. XAI flipped this narrative and it shows within these actual results. Now within this live stream, Elon did state that Grok 4 is better than PhD level in every sort of subject. Like Grok 4 is postgraduate, like PhD level in everything. Better than PhD, but like most PhDs would fail. This isn't just something that they stated, the numbers actually back it up, which I'll showcase in a second. On the human level evaluation benchmark, Grok 4 performs exceptionally well without any sort of tool. It was able to score a 26.9 percentage with tool use. It enabled it and it jumped to a 41 percentage score, which is a massive improvement. And it confirms that Grok 4 has been trained for tool use, which is increasingly essential for any sort of real world reasoning or planning task. Now, this is for sure the best and smartest model available at this current moment regardless of the price. Now, just take a look at the HLE benchmark test. These are extremely difficult questions across various scientific as well as linguistic disciplines designed to test gradual level intelligence. The first test is a mathematics problem, which is where it is within the category of theory and natural transformations, which requires deep abstract reasoning and being familiar with higher level algebra. In the same manner, it was tested on chemistry as well as linguistics. These aren't trivia questions. They actually require specialized domain knowledge, multi-step logical reasoning, and symbolic understanding. That's where the Grok 4 performs really exceptionally well now. This is where it has a higher HLE score than any model in history, and it's better than all of these other models we've seen like Gemini 2.5 Pro, O3, as well as Cloud 4. But guys, what's insane is that it is making a huge gap between the Gemini 2.5 Pro because now it is times two the score of the Gemini 2.5 Pro on the HLE benchmark. But that's not even the best part. In terms of its benchmark scores, it is exceptionally better than all of these models that we've seen from Claude 4 Opus all the way to Gemini 2.5 Pro as well as the O3 model. This performance is insane because it outperforms all of these major models on various sorts of benchmarks from general purpose Q&A all the way to mathematics to science to reasoning. Now in a couple hours I'm going to be making a full on test video so I highly recommend that you stay tuned for that and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you can take a look at that later on. And what's great is that it's going to be available within a couple hours with their XAI API so you can start using it for other purposes with this endpoint. Now. This is a model that has a 256K token context window, which is significantly larger than Grok 3, almost approximately times two. And it's a bit better than obviously Claude 4, as well as a couple of the GPT models, but it's significantly behind Gemini, obviously, with its 1 million token context window. It is a frontier level multimodal model, which is capable of reasoning across text, code, and image inputs. It's a model that has been fine tuned not just on documents and internet data, but it is also highly structured for different formats and specialized with problem sets. It supports this real-time data search 
uh, feature, which is something that will allow it to integrate live information into its output, which is a crucial feature for dynamic environments like social media analysis or even finance and customer service. It's something that includes function calling, structured outputs, and has strong support for complex tool-based workflows, which is kind of similar to OpenAI's function calling or Google's tool format integration. Now, in terms of security, they have stated that they have provided more refined enterprise-grade security, which is nice for different corporations trying to add this new XAI model. Before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Plandex. If you ever used AI coding tools like Cursor or Codex, you probably know the feeling where you hit a wall once your project gets too big or too complex. That's where Plandex stands out. Plandex is a terminal-based AI development tool built for real-world software, not just toy apps or single file scripts. It can plan, execute, debug large-scale coding tasks that span dozens of files and millions of tokens. Think 100k tokens per file and project maps across 20 million plus tokens. Just take a look at Plandex Live in Action, your coding agent designed for large projects and real-world tasks. In this example, Plandex can automatically start Chrome, cache console errors, and walk through debugging browser apps like a pro. What's really unique is how it combines the best models from OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, and even open source models using the most cost efficient and cost effective model that is capable to step into your workflow and make the necessary changes. Plus the built-in diff review sandbox, the auto debugging, and the fine-grained execution control means you're always in charge and your code stays clean. So if you've ever felt limited by other tools, definitely recommend that you give Plandex a shot as it will push the boundaries of what's possible with AI-assisted development with the link in the description below. But with that thought, let's get right back into today's video. Now, if you're interested in the pricing of the API, it retains the same pricing structure as Grok3, which is where it's listed at $3 per 1 million input tokens and $15 per 1 million output tokens. It has a 75 cents per 1 million cash input tokens, which is kind of similar to the Cloud for Sonnet. But in this case, it outperforms that model as well as many others in multiple different benchmarks. Now, although Grok4 is super intelligent, it's not something that is ready for coding. Now, I'll explain this in a bit, but in terms of visual structure output, as well as with UI mockups, it's not at that level. It's pretty decent. This is something that it was capable of outputting a crypto dashboard that it generated. Now, in my opinion, Claude 4 still is better with UI mockups and component layouts, but I'll explain why Grok4 will be better in the next couple of months. This is because the XAI team is planning on releasing a coding model next month, and this is going to be a revolutionary coding model that will assist in all fronts from front end to back end services the tool use. It's going to be super impressive in all those fronts, which is why I'm super excited to see what they actually end up releasing for this coding model. Now, they also stated that they're working on a multimodal agent that will be coming out in September and something of a video generation type of model that will come out and be on par with the VO3. So this is something that will release in October. So there's a lot of interesting things coming out from the XAI team, and it's definitely great to see. Now, here's another benchmark that showcases this model's intelligence. On the Arc AGI2 leaderboard, this is where Croc4 sets its new standard, way above all these other models. Pod4 Opus is kind of relatively close in comparison to all these other models, but overall this is insane because it means that Croc4 has nearly doubled the best performance that we've seen in deployed models. And for those who do not know what Arc AGI is, it is one of the hardest benchmarks in AI, and it's essentially to assess how smart a model is and often considered a proxy for early AGI capabilities. But overall, this is an impressive new model, and I highly recommend that you take a look at all the resources that I use in today's video in the description below. But that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Make sure you join the newsletter as well as our private Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. 
spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.